What's going on and what's up? It's your girl Indy Rosa and we're back with another video featuring my bomb cousin with this bonfire glam. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into this look. This is going to be super detailed, so it's going to be fire. Let's go. Let's get it. So I'm sorry, y'all, if I sound a little echoey, I'm in the building by myself, so I just decided to do this. Um, so I start off with my Noxzema pads as normal, just to clean the face. Her face should already be washed, but just to have that extra clean, you know, feel and glow to it, that's what I do. I'm just putting a little Vaseline on her lips, because, you know, we need that. I think right now I'm using, like, a serum on her skin, just to kind of give it, like, a glow, a nice little um shine to it i'll put the products down below because i really don't remember exactly what i use not at all okay <laughs> okay so next i'm going in with my sephora eye cream this is the um brighten under eye cream i love this eye cream this is a staple in my kit if i run out i get scared because i need it and right now, I think I'm going in with the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Cream just to give her a little bit more moisture and also help to prime the skin. Next, I'm just finishing her skin off with some Rose Water Spray by Mario Podeschio. And I'm going in with her foundation. Now, for her, I normally use two shades just because she's, you know, a little darker around the rim and a little lighter in the middle. So I had to, like, mix it to get the perfect shade until I now found her perfect shade of foundation but at this time I, I didn't have it so I had to concoction some things on up in the kitchen so I'll just be quiet and let y'all watch it And y'all, I be messing up sometimes, so I normally put oil underneath her eyes or underneath any of my clients' eyes just because I know when I set it with powder and all that concealer, it can kind of make it cakey. So I make sure that the eyes are super, super hydrated. I don't put a whole lot of oil under there, but I put just enough to give her that balm, hydrated, prime look. And I'm going in with my e.l.f. little buffing foundation brush. I love this brush. I will never find another brush that fits my foundation, okay? Period. So because she wanted this look to last all night and for a little while, I decided to take a cream foundation, um, cream concealer, the little MAC concealing packet. I had to put the exact one down below just to give her the extra coverage and the extra hole. Cause then when I put the foundation over the uh, concealer over top of it, it'll make sure that everything just stays put all night. For the most part, the foundation I use, which is Maybelline Fit Me foundation, the matte and poreless one, it stays on pretty good. But sometimes concealers can run off cause you know, we do cry our eyes get sensitive. So I'm just taking a cream little cream foundation concealer thing just to put under her eyes. I could have color corrected, but she really didn't absolutely need it. 
So I just went in with the concealers that I was gonna use. So now I'm going in with my Real Techniques setting brush. Um, I could have just left her skin like this, just with that natural highlighted effect, but she wanted something a little bit more full coverage. She wanted to last all night, so we had to give her this, just that, okay? So I start from the ends. I start with the forehead, the, the chin, but I also, when I get ready to blend under the eye, I start with the corners of them, just to give me, you know, a little bit more of a seamless blend, and then I work my way on up into the bottom part of the eye. So now I'm just taking my beauty blender and just blending a little bit extra um, underneath the eye just to give us that seamless blend. And I go back in with my foundation brush just to buff everything out, make sure everything's perfect. Now, honey, we're getting into the stuff that I really like to do, and it's contouring. So we taking that Fenty Beauty um, stick in the color Truffle, and we're just giving her a little bit of shape. She already has some balm cheekbones, a balm jawline, so I just want to kind of give a little a situation to that and just give her a little bit of a little bit of bronzier shadows to her face if you get what I'm saying. So now I'm just going in with my concealer. It's the Milani. I think I used the color 150 on her just to give her a little bit more of a highlighted full coverage look. I'm just putting this on here now so while I'm blending out her contour, the concealer gets a little time to add a little bit more coverage to it, gets a little tacky, so when we go to blend, it'll give out that full coverage. So I just place it under her eye, and I place it on the top of her forehead as well as on the bottom of her chin. So I just put a little bit of that truffle underneath her jawline just to give like a little bit more of a snatched jawline. I'm just going back in with my Real Techniques um, little buffer thing, buffer brusher, and I'm just kind of buffing that in. And now I'm taking my other Real Techniques eyeshadow brush. It's a little dense, but it's also soft. And I just kind of blend that into the beginning of her brow just so it can be a little bit more seamless so everything kind of connects to each other.
If y'all can't tell, this girl loves to talk, okay? She did not stop talking. So, yeah. But I'm going back in with my Real Techniques brush, and I'm just blending, blending, blending. I go in between my foundation brush and my concealer brush just because I want those seamless blends. I want it to be effortless. I don't want it to look like I just drew her face on, even though I, I am being a mug, okay? But I just want to make sure that everything blends seamlessly. You can't see no harsh lines and everything just goes smoothly. <laughs> So now I'm going in with um, the Benefits Cosmetics, precisely my brow pencil in the shade number five. And I like to do this before I set everything because I do clean up the brows with concealer. Even though I do the brows after I do the face, I still make sure I don't set anything in case I mess something up or I can go back in and I can buff it and add more foundation or concealer if I mess up or anything. So yeah, I don't like to fill in her brows because she has such a nice thick, full brow i don't try to fill it in i just try to shape the outside and then just do like little hair like strokes where i feel like it's needed because later i'm gonna go in with my um brow gel by anastasia so i just do little strokes that's it So now I'm just going in with my Morphe little flat concealer brush, eyeliner brush. I don't know if they call this brush, but I like this brush to get me that more precise look. See y'all, she just keep talking. She like to talk. This is what she like to do. But I take a little bit and I place it on her lid. 
I don't like to put a whole bunch of concealer under the eyes. I normally just put it where I feel like it's needed. So I put it like right on that arch of the brow and I put just a little bit in the front just to give me like that, you know, highlighted feel. But I try to focus my concealer more on the outer ends and then also on the lid as like a primer. So because I noticed a little crease in, I just took a little bit more of that 150 concealer by Milani and I put it under her eye. And now I'm just going in with my Translucent Honey Setting Powder by Laura Mercier. And I take another Real Techniques setting brush just to kind of dust that powder along under the eyes. So yeah, I'm just doing that right now. I focus on the under eyes first and then I set everywhere else as well. I put some on the bridge of her nose, even though I didn't put no concealer right there. I still put it on the bridge of her nose. So now I'm just going in with my Black Radiance um, little contour palette. I'm taking the color, um, it's, it's the palette shade, I think it's medium to dark. And I'm just taking that middle uh, sculpt shade just to bronze up her face a little bit to add a little bit more warmth. Um, I didn't want to take the contour shade because I feel like that would have been too bronzy. So I'm just taking that um, sculpt shade and just kind of dusting it across her face. And now I'm just taking, I can't remember, I think I'm taking the MAC. Um, yeah, I'm taking the MAC in the color Dark Deep. And I'm just dusting it for another bronzy effect. It's a little lighter than the Sculpt one that's in that palette. But it gives me very much bronzy. And I love using it on her skin. I use it on me and it comes up a little bit too orange. But on her, it just sun kisses it and it makes it so gorgeous. I love it. Y'all gotta forgive me because sometimes I be forgetting what I be using. But <laughs> right now I'm going in with the um, same concealer I used to shape her brows, the 150. And I'm just taking that same brush that I used to buff out that concealer and I'm buffing it onto her lid so we can get a nice primed space so we can get ready to do these eyeshadows, honey. I'm excited. So as a beginner makeup artist and a self-taught makeup artist, I'm still learning my eyeshadow looks. I'm still learning what combos go good together, what colors look good together. So I'm still learning. So right now I am using, I believe, Slade Faces Falling For You palette. And I couldn't tell you exactly the shade that I, have, I was using, but I was using it and I was using it well. <laughs> I just can't tell you which shade, but uh, yeah, I can't tell you which shade. But I just go in with like this, you know, pinkier, reddish kind of shade just because I'm going to use it as a transition shade. And I'm going to go in with something a little darker when we go into the lid.
And y'all, I was really making up this look as I went, but like, I love a halo eye on her. So I said, well, let me do this halo eye because I think that that would really, really be pretty on her. So I take like this dark purplish shade. She loves purple. So I was trying to do like a red fire purple, just, you know, I don't know what kind of look I was doing, but I was just going with the flow. And I take a little bit of that first shade that I use and I kind of buff it into the front of her brow just to make sure that it's kind of seamless and that the eye look kind of ties in with the nose contour and the nose contour ties in with the brow. We just got to make sure everything go together, okay? We can just have separate components. It all has to come together. It's an art piece, okay? So we got to make sure it comes like it's supposed to come, okay? Period. <laughs> So now I'm just getting ready to do like a little soft little halo cut crease. So I'm just taking that same concealer and I'm just kind of guiding my fingers. I'm not really drawing no cut crease, but I'm just, honey, I'm just winking it. Okay. Cause at this point, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know what I was going to do at all, but it look, it's going to look cute and it's going to come out at the end how it's supposed to come out. Period. And at this moment, I really didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Y'all, this is raw, okay? This is me. This is true what I be going through my head when I be doing these looks because I really don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm just taking this orangey color and I'm just kind of placing it onto her lid. I don't know why I didn't put no powder under her eyes for like just fall out, but I'm going it, to, it'll, it'll work out. I didn't make that much of a mess, but I'm, I'm working it out. You know, I'm just working it out. That, that's it. So now I'm just taking a little bit of my, um, that, that darker um, shade that I use on the inner corner of her crease. I'm just taking it and kind of just patting it onto where I cut the little soft cut crease. And as you can see, I added a little gold and I was like, before I add this gold, let me put some powder because glitter is a little harder to get out than just the normal powder. Like it, it's a little hard. So I just went in to scope like the bottom of her jawline just set for us to get that little snatch look. And I also just put some powder and for eye for fallout. And as you can see, the orange wasn't was enough for me. So I had to go in with some gold. But we we gonna get to that in a little minute. Just hold on. Oh. 
So this gold shade I'm using, I know for sure it's from the Slave Faces Falling For You palette because this is my favorite pigment. Just, it's so creamy. It goes on so smooth. It's just super pigmented. I just really, really love this glitter, y'all. And I don't think my cut this my cousin's palette and I don't think she understand how much I love that gold shade, okay? I'll use it on everything if I could. But now I'm just taking um, another like uh, orangier kind of shimmer just to kind of seamlessly tie in that gold to that purple to that red and just make sure everything just looks fiery. That's what we're going for. We're going for a fire glam, period. So at this time, I'm just taking my Cover FX powder in the shade N60. And I find it better to like press that powder in with like a color foundation versus just trying to dust that powder off. I'd rather just go ahead and add a little bit more coverage using that foundation powder and just kind of let that setting powder sink in. I normally just apply it to like the places I highlighted, but I just went ahead and applied it to where I put that powder along the bottom of her um, kind of cheekbone jawline area. And I'm also just gonna go back over top of it with another powder just to give like another airbrush finish. So I just spray her face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Honey, we gotta set all this in because it was looking a little dusty. <laughs> and I'm just taking that um, 360 Mocha Shade uh, from Fit Me Foundation Powder and I'm just dusting that everywhere. I, I just dusted everywhere because I wanted to just kind of bring everything together and add a little bit more of an airbrush finish. So I got her to smile just so I can add some blush. I'm using, look at her face. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. I'm just taking the Julius Place Volume 1 palette and I'm using that berry shade, but I'm mixing it with a little bit of that orangier shade. I love this blush palette, y'all. It is my favorite. And it's so pigmented, it's so creamy, and it doesn't go on too patchy, which is why I really love it. So as I said before, just to add that extra stroke, brow-like hairs and stuff, I'm taking in my Anastasia brow gel, it's clear, so I'm just illuminating her brows a little bit, giving a little extra hole just so they can last her all night. And now I'm going in with the lip liner, but this is not really a lip liner, y'all, this is my little trick. This is an eyeliner from Sephora that I use as a lip liner because it's so stinking cute. Like, you can't tell me it's not cute. It's really, really cute. Lips is like my favorite part of this process. I just love the process of just transforming somebody's lips, whether they have full lips or they have small lips. It's just all about aesthetic. And yeah, I'm just giving her some lips, okay? Cause she says she feel like she don't have full lips, which I don't know where she gets that from, but I'm just taking some, I only outline the bottom, like middle part of her lip. And then I just draw around the natural line and I lift it upward so it can give like that she's smiling effect. And I also give her like a little heart in the middle of her top lip. And I'm just buffing it out with the other side. This is why I use this eyeliner because it's just such a cool tone brown and I can buff it at the end. Like it's just win-win. So now I'm just going in with my Wet n Wild Black Liner. It's the liquid liner. Y'all not really good with liner, but I do enough to get by. <laughs> and I like doing this because if I misplace like the lashes, the um, 
the you know the shadow of the black will kind of make it blend a little bit more seamlessly so i just go in with a little liner just to line that lash line just to give me a little bit of a shadow in case i do mess up because like i said i'm a beginner and i'm still learning and i'm still growing so yep that's it Y'all, she was getting so tired of me, and I didn't care. <laughs> so I'm just taking my Better Than Sex mascara, and I'm just adding a little bit of color and a little bit to the ends because when you do all that powder, and sometimes the powder can get onto the lashes, so I just wanted to add a little bit more color just so you don't see no white powdery lash underneath the lashes I'm going to put over top of it. And the lashes that I'm going in with have already been prepped, set like for a minute with some glue on them. And I'm using my lashes in the style Coco from the Coz Rose collection. They're so stinking cute and I love them. They're nice, long, fluffy, full. She liked them big lashes, but this, this one what the look was given. These are big enough. When I tell y'all, lips is like my favorite process, like favorite part of this process. You can't tell me I don't do a bomb lip. If I don't know how to do nothing else, I'm gonna do a lip, okay? So right now I'm going in with the Lip Lingerie by NYX. It's the color Hot Cameo, and I put that kind of over the lip liner, but just inside as well. And then I'm going in with the final shade. It's the Milani uh, Liquid Lipstick in the shade 01. It's like a nice pinky nude and I love it. And then I just take that eyeliner slash lip liner and I just reinforce that line on the outside of her lip. Um, I like using these eyeliners as lip liners because it lasts so stinking long. Like, period. So now I can tell y'all what I use on the eyeshadow. So I use the Slave Faces um, shade Cranberry in her upper crease area, like on the top of her eye and her inner crease. And now I'm just using it on the bottom to kind of just buff a little bit. I was gonna do a white eyeliner, but I said, no, let me just buff it and smoke this bad boy out. So I'm taking that color Cranberry and the next shade I'm gonna take is Hottest Ever from my um, Desert Palette from Morphe. It's a nice, big, big palette and I love it. It's Full of bold colors, which I don't normally do, but this look did call for some boldness. So, and then I'm just taking a little bit of my Better Than Sex mascara just to put on her bottom lashes because she already has nice bottom and top lashes. So, just to add a little bit more. Oof. So now we're just doing some finishing touches. I'm going in with my Morphe little Make It Plumping Clear Gloss. I just put that kind of on the outer parts of her lips. This is super, super hydrating and it plumps the lips just a little bit, not too much. Um, so I just put it kind of on the outer parts and I kind of just let her kind of buff it. Like, you know, pop, pop. You know how we, the mama used to say, you pop your lips together, girl. Pop your lip gloss together. And I just put a little bit on the inner corner, but the inside of it. But I'm going in with my... Madeline Butter Gloss by NYX as well. And just putting that on the inner part and I'm just taking the clear and I'm just buffing it out. And just, it's all about buffing and blending, even down to the lips, honey, you gotta buff and blend. So I'm just going in with some highlighter on the bridge of her nose from that Black Radiance Contour Palette I used earlier on the high points of her face, on her cheekbones, on the top of her lip. But y'all, this is all, this is it. And I'm gonna finish it with a little bit of blush and a little bit of spray from Morphe, the Continuous Setting Mist. But I want y'all to just keep tuning in and bear with me. But thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all in my next one. Let's just get into it, okay? It's giving the Black Kim K. <laughs> Okay, thank you for watching. Bye. Oh.